I've been wanting to create a gift like this for the last few weeks. Now, I've been around the flea market and a couple of antique shops and stuff, and I can't find any old-fashioned wooden handled saws to do this with. So this was a bit of a mock-up to see how I thought it might look. Um, and I don't really want to use a plastic handle one, even painted up, I think it'll look a bit... Nah, a bit rubbish. So, option B, because we are short of time. I have an old saw blade which used to have a plastic handle on it, it was one of the removable ones, uh, and it's been removed. And basically I'm going to make my own representation, or pretend handle, out of a slab of steel basically. Um, so that's the vague plan. Now to cut the letters out, once we've transferred it to the new blade, um, I actually have a new plasma cutter. Um, I did a quick review on that a few weeks ago, and I'll link it to it above, it's on my other channel. Um, but so it's a budget cutter, and it seems to work quite well on straight lines on thick steel and stuff. So it's going to be interesting to see how it works on the saw blade, uh, and how easily you can do details. So that's kind of what we're reviewing today as well, as well as, as a how-to, I guess, video. Um, so yeah, we'll get the plasma cutter out, get it all set up, and just give it a whirl. Because we can't cut in from the edge with the plasma cutter, um, and you can't really start cutting without a hole in the first place, we're basically going to get a drill, we're going to cut into the drill a hole on each letter like that as a starting position for the cutter and then we can go from there and hopefully cut the rest of the letters out. Um, regarding the bits in the middle like that I'm going to try and leave a tab. So I've left a tab there, look you can see that one, so that it stays attached. So that's going to be quite tricky I think. <laughs> It's a bit knobbly bobbly. Gonna do some cleaning up with the file and uh, angle grind probably. Relatively easy to do actually. It's actually easier than I thought it would be. When you're cutting the thick stuff, it's quite hard to get the speed right. When it's thinner like this, as long as you use two hands to steady yourself, it's relatively easy to, to guide uh, the cutter.
basic design. Quite happy with that so far. Just putting a couple of coats of clear coat on, and the one I use is Pro XL if I can get hold of it. Um, it's by far my favourite. Um, I've used lots of cheapo stuff in the past, and it's not bad, but this one covers absolutely lovely. It really goes on easily. Um, I've never noticed it yellow or flake or anything at all, um, so that's my choice by far. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I will put a link in the description uh, below if I can find some on eBay or something. So we are pretty much done, or as far as I'm going with this particular saw. So as a first plasma cutting experience, uh, cutting out something detailed like this as a piece of art, it went too bad, not too bad. And so I'm relatively practiced at doing straight lines through thick steel, but when it comes to cutting the thin stuff, it goes through very, very fast. Um, and basically at the start of this, because I wasn't really sure how fast or slow to go, and the settings to use, I had it turned up too high basically. And when you have it turned up high, it blows through fast and you end up speeding and rushing and, and making mistakes. And that's why the first few letters aren't quite as neat as the, the back half of the saw. Uh, and by the second half of the saw, I basically chilled out, got into my groove, turned the plasma cutter down and just took the time. Um, and I think the, the results are a lot, a lot better on the back half of the saw. So yeah, so that's my vague feedback. I mean, you want to be as accurate as possible when you're cutting something like a saw blade because it's rock hard anyway. Uh, so unless you're going to do the effort of annealing to make it soft or something to work on, um, you need to get them as accurate as possible because filing it takes forever. It's really, really hard work and it's hard metal. Um, even the um, the Dremel with the stone bit in took forever just to clean up the, the rough edges. So yeah, try and get as accurate as, as you can. Take your time, just enjoy it and uh, don't be scared of it. It's a bit like welding, you first start welding it feels hot and fast and uh, a little bit scary, you're not quite sure what's going to happen. But once you've seen what happens it's, it's no issue at all, uh, and so you can just take your time and it's not, a, it's not a problem and you get good results. Uh, so this is as far as I'm going with this particular saw, I'll get some photos of it as it is right now with a better background than my ugly mug. Um, however I'm handing this over to my boys, so this is for my boy's grandpa or my dad uh, for his birthday. <clears throat> And I've asked them to create something, so it's their work, that goes behind the back of the letters there. And I'm giving them free reign, they can do what they want, they can do what, anything they want behind the back of there. I've said as long as they make some effort, they can put some effort in, they can do whatever they want with it. And I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine, it really will. <laughs> so I'll get some, uh, some photos, I'll put them at the end of the video, say of this as it is. And then uh, hopefully once it's in position with their work on there as well. Um, I'll try and chuck a few more photos up as well. Uh, in terms of the next item we're going to do on this channel, it's possibly going to be this one. It's been hanging around the garage, desperate to be upcycled into a little night light or ambient light for desk or something. Um, and i got a very simple idea how to do that one. Uh, so that's probably the next video we're going to do. Uh, you've probably noticed the Beatles in the background. I do actually have a Volkswagen channel, uh, People's Car. Um, so if you wanted to check me out over there, I've got loads of videos, classic hair, cool stuff. Um, I'll link to that below or above or wherever. Um, and if you're into gaming, into Xbox, PlayStation, PC gaming, um, I do some gaming guides with a friend as well. Um, so I'll link to that particular channel as well um, in the comments, descriptions below. Cheers guys, hopefully I'll see you again here, or maybe over there. Cheers, take care.